Some think the reply may have been to tell us that we are on the right track, communicating in the universal language of the cosmos, binary code. A German mathematician, Gottfried Leibniz, is credited with defining binary code in the 17th century. In turn, Leibniz is said to have credited his inspiration to the 5,000-year-old Chinese text of I Ching, an ancient oracle code used to communicate divine guidance. The I Ching is a kind of cryptic oracular inscription uh, that you're supposed to decipher, and it was heavily used in divination in early China. The numerical symbols or values are actually tied to a semi-mythical figure by the name of Fuxi, who is uh, perhaps the earliest legendary ruler of China. The history or origin of the I Ching is very interesting because it is said that this knowledge was imparted on Fuji by an otherworldly being. According to ancient Chinese myth, Fuji lived around 3000 BC. He and his sister were the sole survivors of a great flood, and together they repopulated the earth. And it was said that one died. Um, he was on the Yellow River, um, and a water dragon appeared to him. Um, and the, on the back of this water dragon was revealed to them the eight trigrams. These eight trigrams are the foundation of the I Ching. They are made up of a series of broken and unbroken lines, a distinct binary code. Fuxi was given the information of the I Ching, what was essentially a binary code. It's basically proven that this kind of mathematical binary code is what is going to drive all computers in the future. And this is something that extraterrestrials on other planets and other galaxies must also be using. Some have surmised that the idea for the binary code was gleaned from the I Ching. It's a very curious thing, especially the idea that the basics of the I Ching was imparted by another type of being. Could the I Ching have been an attempt by extraterrestrials to set up a common communication language with mankind? Might this also support the notion that the crop circles in Chilbolton are an actual alien response to the signal that SETI set out into the cosmos in 1974? And have extraterrestrials been leaving messages here on Earth for us to discover for thousands of years, as ancient astronaut theorists contend. Perhaps further clues can be found by examining other mysterious symbols that have been discovered carved into rock all over the world.